So now in this video we're going to look at uh, the 2N7000. So it's an end channel enhancement uh, mode MOSFET right there. MOSFET is the keyword. So this is not a bipolar junction uh, transistor. Although um, when you're using it as a switch it's uh, wired. Uh, you know quite basically the same. There are some differences. So when I uh, make my uh, NPN bipolar junction transistors, I mentioned if it uh, starts with 2N, it always has the same pin layout from my experience. This is not an NPN bipolar junction transistor. It is a MOSFET. It starts with 2N though. And um, we have though, you can see left pin is source, middle pin is gate, and right pin is drain, which uh, actually does you know, align with the uh, bipolar junction transistors, although it's a different type of transistor. So we got source, there to ground, a, a gate there getting our signal instead of a base, and then a drain going to the uh, positive uh, supply. Um, but in case, it's not a collector base emitter, it's source uh, gate drain. And um, so we have uh, the component there. To line this up on the breadboard, I have it facing to the right. Now, unlike bipolar junction transistors, and um, generally you learn bipolar junction transistors first, um, so I just keep mentioning that. Um, but uh, they, uh, the bipolar junction transistor has a resistor to the base, the control pin. This uh, component does not depend on current like the bipolar junction transistor does. It uh, basically just looks at the voltage at the gate, um, which affects, um, in a sense, the voltage on uh, the uh, channel here. So it's kind of like a capacitor. When you get the gate more positive, the channel becomes more negative. It fills up with electrons. And uh, the, the uh, P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET, uh, the, the polarities are opposite. Um, just be aware of that. That's the only uh, difference there. And then the load is also on uh, the lower side of the transistor if you're using the P-channel MOSFET. But we're going to focus on N-channel now. It's pretty simple, so I'm going to ramble on extra details. So with a uh, positive 5 volts, that turns the transistor on. Because more positive there, N-channel gets more negative in the channel, it conducts better. But we have a problem here. So right now the gate's floating, it's just in the air, but uh, my body can actually uh, give it uh, signals. And whatever I last place on it, it can store in place. Like I said, it's kind of like a capacitor. Although even with this thicker plastic part, um, sometimes I can uh, get uh, some, probably a little bit of current leaking through the insulation or something to uh, build up or reduce charge but uh, there we go we have now to the next supply it is off fully positive supply it is on uh, fully so with the practical circuit um, unless you're even if you're using a digital output of something the uh, resistor might uh, help prevent uh, some problems but technically you don't need it so for the simple circuit to show that you don't always need it um, I haven't used it yet so there, we have a pull down resistor. What that means is, since that is directly to the supply, 10,000 ohms of resistance, my body does not have a strong enough signal to overpower that. It's making sure that that stays uh, zero right there. And um, unless I go to the positive supply, then of course that's a direct connection to the positive supply and uh, the resistor is 10,000 ohms. So, um, you know, a little current's gonna trickle through it, but we have you know practically the full supply positive supply voltage to the base right now and it is on fully so that is if uh, you want to make sure it is off whenever you are in the uh, floating state and um, I haven't done the uh, pull up pull down resistor video in a while um, but you could also do a pull up actually I uh, the uh, 555 timer videos they have pull up and pull down um, uh, resistors um, usually a pull up but yeah there we go now it is uh, I, uh, I moved the wrong, I meant to put the resistor to the positive supply. So I just shuffled it over one spot over there, making it the exact same connection. So now when we're floating, it's going to be on if that is what you are shooting for uh, right there. Unless you force it off by connecting the jumper to uh, ground. Again, digital outputs generally go right from uh, a positive output to a negative output, even though they go through transistors and stuff. Usually it's still plenty fine for turning uh, the uh, transistor, this particular transistor, on and off, or even a bipolar junction transistor. So, uh, a lot of times you'll see like these transistors um, coming from the output of an integrated circuit or something else that is uh, working with a real weak voltage. It can get a full uh, uh, voltage, but if it has to provide current, that will throw it off 
and a lot of uh, integrated circuit and stuff can't even uh, power an LED. Um, but uh, you could use it to switch a transistor pretty easily. And uh, the MOSFETs, um, you need practically no current, just a little bit shuffles uh, when it's switching uh, between states. Otherwise, it's holding still. So, in a sense, you can say it needs no current at all. It can be on with no current and it can be off with current. That is true, but a little bit uh, moves when it's switching. So, you may have something with a bunch of MOSFETs that's switching very rapidly that's actually using a lot of power to switch it. But that's just because uh, it's constantly shuffling current in and out um, of the uh, gate there. And um, But uh, for the most part, for it just to be worked as a simple set, uh, switch, you're, you're using no current, no noticeable current. I'm using 220 ohm resistor to protect the red LED from 5 volts. And um, again, it's a simple circuit, so I'll mention uh, the basic stuff again in more detail. Long lead the anode needs to be more positive. Short lead the cathode needs to be more negative for the LED to light up. If you put it in backwards, it will not light up. Um, but it doesn't hurt the LED, you know, unless, uh, you know, you got a relatively high voltage. It might uh, force uh, current, even though it's backwards, and uh, that will fry it. Um, so I think that's like 15 volts or something. Um, it can still kind of get pushed through the uh, resistor and, uh, and burn it out. But for the most part, if you're working with, uh, I think even 12 volts, you're, you're fine if the LED got put in uh, backwards. And um, so, uh, yeah, that is about it. I covered the pull-up, pull-down resistor. Oh, yeah. Um, also, this is not a universal symbol. I actually forgot about that um, while I was making this. There's all kinds of different ways people draw uh, MOSFET uh, symbols. This is the one that I like the most from the book, The Art of Electronics. A lot of people really hate this one, um, but... Uh, you know, it's in the book, The Art of Electronics. They use that exact same symbol. Usually they don't have the letters, though, like most transistors. You just know where the arrow is. That is the source. And in this case, the direction that it's pointing, you can tell that it is end channel uh, right there. The side without the arrow is the drain. And on the side, that looks like a uh, kind of a half of a capacitor there on its own, is uh, the gate right there. If you're using this symbol, there's a lot more complex symbols and... Um, we're keeping this simple there so yeah actually uh much longer video than i thought it would be i hope you enjoy make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video